Hello, and welcome to Cosmological Arguments. I'm your host, John Bannon. The Beginningless Causation Paradox. The Beginningless Causation Paradox proves the existence of God by demonstrating that the beginning of causation itself must have an uncaused, immaterial cause we call God. If causation in the cosmos had no beginning, then there would be an infinite regression of causation, exhausting all possible causes. However, if causation were infinite, then causation could not become exhausted. Therefore, causation cannot be infinite, but must have had a beginning. The cause of the beginning of causation, not having a cause for its own beginning, must therefore be uncaused. The beginning of causation itself cannot be a physical explanation, because all physical explanations would be caused. Accordingly, there must be an uncaused, immaterial cause for the beginning of causation we call God. The beginningless causation paradox uh, says this, that if causation uh, regressing into the past were infinite, then all possible causes would have been used up before today. There would be no new causes for tomorrow. But if causation were infinite, it couldn't be exhausted at any point in time. So, there, there couldn't be all the causes used up to today. Well, that's paradoxical. So, the solution to this paradox is that the infinite series of causation into the past can't be infinite. It must have started at some point. It must have had a beginning. So, uh, look at it this way. Let's say you have an effect, A. That's today. Now, that effect had a cause at some moment prior in time. So let's call that B. And B must have had a cause too, prior to its existence. We'll call that C. And C also must have had a cause for its existence prior to its existence, We'll call that D. Now, it doesn't matter whether this is a single cause or, or, or causes for multiple causes. It's all causation. So you can keep uh, extending this sequence of prior causes infinitely. However, if this were the case, that there was an infinite regress of causation from today, then every possible cause, A, B, C, D, E, whatever label you want to give it, would have to have been used up before today. So there would be no new causes into the future. But if causation is infinite, like this, then you can't exhaust all possible causes before today. That's a paradox. It's an impossibility. So the paradox tells you that there's something wrong with this whole situation. And what's wrong with it is that you can't have an infinite regression of causation. It has to have a beginning. If causation had a beginning in the past, then all possible causes could not have been exhausted up to today. And there would be uh, cause it causes for the future. Now, the when, I, when I, I talk about this sort of causation, I'm referring to causation in physical reality or natural causes. 
However, that which started the string of natural causation sometime in the past itself uh, couldn't be a natural cause. It couldn't be a cause that's explainable through uh, nature or physical reality, because that would just be another one of these uh, causes which itself would require its own cause. So you wouldn't be ending the string of causation. It has to be a metaphysical cause. All physical explanations or natural explanations uh, for the beginning of causation would themselves have to be caused in like fashion. And therefore, they can't be an explanation for the beginning of causation. It has to be a metaphysical cause. And by metaphysical cause, um, I, I mean uh, God. Now, this is not your typical natural physical causation that occurs in time. God is timeless. This is a metaphysical cause, not a natural cause. And what that really means is it's not a cause done in time. It's really a dependency relationship. In other words, this metaphysical cause must be real in order for this physical causation series to begin. So what it means is God must be real in order for physical causation to begin. That's what I mean by a metaphysical cause. Um, so if you wanted to use a symbol for the beginningless causation paradox, I would use this symbol. Now, what this symbol represents is an infinity of causation, but this line down the middle shows that that causation can't be infinite. It has to begin. So it, it, it shows the solution to the paradox of this supposed infinite causation, which is uh, impossible and requires a God in order for causation to begin. Um, I hope you learned something and take care.